spring is here, summer is on the way, and with this beautiful weather, you know, sometimes I don't want to just walk outside with a pair of sandals. I want something that hugs my feet a little bit more, but is extremely comfortable and easy to get on. Now, obviously, I don't need hundreds of more running shoes, even though I will get more. I will test them out, and I will see how they feel on my feet and how they perform. Sometimes you just need a shoe to kick back, relax, and feel all good. So, when I saw this shoe on, you know, Under Armour Dossier, even though it was a little pricey, I thought, you know what, Colin? You know what, Colin? Let's, let's, let's run over to the site. Let's get this pair. Let's try them out. So, let's get into the sneaker of today. Obviously, you see it in the title, but... Let's have a look of it in hand. So first off, it starts off with a basic Under Armour box. It says Under Armour, that UA logo there, Under Armour. Got the big UA logo up top. Simple, plain, nothing special. Then we can dive right in to the shoe itself. So you can see the name, logo, and branding is UA Hover Phantom 3 Slip. Got that Hover technology. If you want the product number, that's right there. And you can see size 10 and a half. Now when it comes to Under Armour shoes, Adidas, most of my shoes, I am a true to size 10 and a half, so that's what I go for most things. Some shoes I will have to go up to that 11, especially if the toe box is a little, you know, tight and pinching my pinky toe, then maybe, but almost everything, 10 and a half. So whatever your true to size is, that's what I recommend, especially for running shoes. Now when you open up the box, you just got simple paper, nothing fancy about it. And then we have the sneaker, the shoe, the bread and butter. Here we go. Let's just get a nice little look at this. Do a quick 360. And let's dive more into the shoe and the features. So first of all, you saw it said slip on the box, and that's because there are no laces. Now you have these things, four stripes, almost like the three stripes Adidas, obviously they probably had to do four for branding, but they just kind of, I guess, hold the foot down, or maybe they're there more for looks. In between each little stripe, there's a, you know, a little piece of material, so it kind of separates it. At the top, you have this little pull tab here. It says Phantom. Kind of hard to read upside down. Hit of Under Armour. Toe box, a little hit of Under Armour. If you look at the tread, nice and simple. You don't need, you know, an outdoor tread, a big, thick, grooved tread, one that you use for trails, because obviously you're not going to run long distances or trails in this. This is just a nice slip-on. So it's got that sock-like sock -like fit, you see? Slips on. If we look at the back, it has a nice big heel cup, like you see on the regular Under Armour Phantoms. Kind of give that support at the back of the heel. As this part bends down, you need something a little stronger here to support the foot. Look at the sole, it's nice and thick, pretty squishy. It's got a little bit of this pattern here, kind of like a meshing. Nothing you know, special, but it does break up the colorway and the look of the shoe. I kind of like it to break up the whole visual. You got a hit of Hover here to tell you once again, that's Hover technology in the bottom. And on the inside, counter here. And just overall, just a nice, nice in-hand shoe. So this shoe, like I said, something simple to throw on, going to the gas station to fill up gas, going to get some snacks, going out for a quick bite. You just easily slip on your foot and you're good to go. And tying laces, just something to relax in, walk around in. Anyways, I've been talking way too much. We got to throw this on foot and just See how it looks on foot. Let's go have a check. Have a look, here we go. The slip-ons, you know what? They're really nice and nice and kind of loose over this part of the foot. The heel, because of a slip-on, it's not as tight. I kind of like my shoes locked in here and tied back. But, once again, maybe I can take life a little slower. So down, relaxing these. Kind of like that white color on it. Kind of a need to get used to feeling of them. What do you guys think?
All right, so there we have it for the Under Armour Phantom 3 slip-ons. I mean, my only question is, is it worth it? Around 180 to 160 is what I paid. The only other shoes they had that are similar to this slip-on nice and easy is the Under Armour Slip Speed um, or Slip Stream. I forget what it's called. So do I really pay the price and keep it for convenience? I don't know. You guys let me know. I'm not a big fan of mule shoes where the back goes down, slip-on. I'd rather just get sandals. But this is nice and quick without the laces. Slip-on, go anywhere, do this or that. Anyways, guys, how about you comment below? Like, subscribe, do all that. Tell me what you think of this pair here. Anyways, till next time, take it easy.